Good morning. My name is Mark Brunton. I'm Operations Section Chief on the Park Incident. I'll take you through the uh, operational briefing for uh, July 30th. Uh, talk about uh, overnight uh, some of the operations that took place, uh, some of the challenges we've experienced in our uh, operations moving forward throughout the day. Starting on the lower portion of the fire, uh, everything's looking really good as we move up the western part of the fire. That's all holding still. Uh, it is uh, being mopped up and, um, and, and getting a lot of direct line completed that was still uh, need to be done, but this is all looking uh, very good. As we continue to move up the western part of the fire, uh, yesterday afternoon, we ended up having, late in the afternoon, a significant increase in our fire activity throughout the fire. In particular, in the upper, uh, what we call left shoulder of the fire in Tehama County, uh, we ended up having a significant amount of spot fires uh, that took place. We had resources and crews available, as well as aircraft, uh, that were attacking those numerous spot fires. A lot of that area, the fire line was still in rugged and uh, inaccessible terrain. Uh, to make it very difficult for us to be able to put direct line onto that fire. So we had to imp uh, imply and utilize uh, some firing operations uh, to be able to check up the fire or to uh, stop the rapid advance of the fire uh, moving to the west. Some of that area uh, was on the hog's back area. So we were able to do some firing and get direct line from the hog's back down to Antelope Creek. Um, and we are continuing uh, also from the hog's back uh, back to uh, Highway uh, 36, and uh, but there is some area again due to the topography where we're trying to call connect the dots between that direct line and, and what the open line is of the fire line uh, to uh, to get that connected. Uh, they were having some success within that. Uh, they're continuing to battle that today. Uh, our weather changes is now increasing the time that the fire is more active than we've seen in the past few days. Uh, so that's been a real challenge. Uh, we've also been surging resources into parts of the fire that have been our problem uh, areas. Uh, in the Highway 36 corridor, um, we also had um, the fire take off at its skip uh, towards Lanes Valley. Uh, it ran uh, to Battle Creek, uh, did a lot of uh, you know, uh, defensive firing activities to try to hold that. A lot of that was not successful due to the intensity and, and the fast uh, ra rate of spread of the fire. Uh, so they are attempting to continue to um, to stop the fire there and to slow its um, its advance. Uh, they're also working on some direct dozer line in Lanes Valley uh, to uh, mitigate that incident. So we had a number of those spots uh, that went across the line. However, we did have successes with a number of spots that did go across that we were able to, uh, to jump on and take care of. Um, community of Banton is still uh, in good, good shape, continuing to put uh, contingency lines around that and uh, have resources in there uh, for uh, structured defense and to prep uh, if there's any further advance of the fire. So that's a, that's a, that whole area in what we call Branch 12, that northern part of the fire, has been very active uh, and, and been, give, been problematic for us uh, over the past 24 hours. Uh, moving around into uh, what we call uh, Branch 15, um, that uh, a lot of uh, work done there. Again, heavy fuels, uh, hard topography to work in. We have as much direct line as we can be putting in, we're putting in right now. Um, and so in the area of uh, Little Giant, uh, a lot of direct line going in there, still a lot of work. Um, there was a slop fire in uh, Dead Horse Canyon. Uh, the crews are working on that. We're working on uh, a plan to connect between Branch 20 and, and 15, again, due to the topography and, and the fuels, it, it, that's, a, that's a very complicated uh, plan that they're working on. Also within the Branch 15 area, there's been a lot of uh, prep of the uh, homes, the structures, and the cabins that are in the Lassen Lodge and um, the Mill Creek Ranch uh, areas. So uh, no, at this point, no destruction to those, uh, those structures. Uh, but they we're uh, identifying where they are and, and actively preparing the structures and putting in contingency lines to protect them. As we move down uh, onto the Highway 32 corridor in particular, uh, the other day we had a 150-200 uh, acre slop over, uh, or spot I should say, in that area uh, that was moving uh, just above Butte Meadows. Uh, it, it was going to be moving into some very uh, difficult terrain and heavier fuels. Uh, the fire was uh, rapidly spreading. Fortunately, we had really good leadership in there. We had the right amount of resources to jump on it right away. Uh, they were able to uh, 
go direct on it as much as possible. Uh, we hit it with a lot of aircraft to support the ground operations and, and they had a lot of success. However, due to the heavy fuel loading in there, it is still very hot as they're mopping it up. Yesterday, we had some spots come out of that uh, heated area. They were able to jump on those very quickly. That's gonna be a continued challenge for us moving forward over the next couple days. It's a huge area, heavy fuel loading, and the fuels outside of the control line are extremely receptive uh, to, the, to the ember cast and in any spots that may occur. So um, it is an area where we are working in, uh, diligently. We've, we've put a lot of resources in there today uh, to try to uh, get that taken care of uh, so it doesn't cause us any further uh, issues. As we move uh, further down the Highway 32 corridor, uh, they are in the process of completing a firing operation that will tie the fire right into Highway 32 so that we can put a lid on that and uh, end the forward progress of that fire in that condition. We were working on that the past couple of days. Yesterday, they had to delay and stop the firing operation, what we call hang it up, to check it up and wait for the conditions to be right for us to do it. Previous to that, the, the firing operation was going exactly how we wanted to do, building us a lot of depth with the black line so it creates a, a fire buffer from the hostile fire. So uh, going really good. That operation will continue throughout the day as conditions warrant and allow it to do so. We may have to shut that down again if we are uh, getting outside of uh, the, the safe um, uh, conditions to do so. Uh, but again, we have the appropriate resources in line and, and prepared and a really good plan in place uh, to finish that operation. If conditions allow us, we'll be able to we anticipate finish that operation today and, uh, and, and be done with that. And then moving down as we move into forest, the rest of Forest Ranch, there was some repopulation yesterday. There was a lot of uh, good um, control efforts made there, mop up. However, the mop-up continues, and we would like to ask those folks that have repopulated in the area, please be cognizant and, and be aware there are fire resources still working in the area, uh, and please try not to interfere the best you can uh, with those operations uh, because they're trying to get their job done, make it safe for those folks that have moved back in, but there are still lots of pockets of heat and so forth uh, within that area, hazard trees that we're trying to mitigate and so forth. So. Um, we want to get the folks back in when it's safe to do so, and, and we want to get them back uh, to their normal lives, but please help us to do that as we finish up uh, that operation. As we continue down to the base of the heel of the fire, everything's looking really good, and it's a continued mop of patrol status. Very happy with that. Uh, outside of the fire lines, we always have what we call contingency lines, so if the fire does uh, spot like it's been doing or make a, a run that we have a, another line we can fall back onto to help us uh, control or, or maneuver the fire away from any sort of uh, infrastructure, lives, uh, property, that sort of thing. So um, we've been diligent working on putting control lines in and, uh, and using those to our advantage using uh, already established fuel breaks. Uh, fuels treatment work that's been done and so forth over the past few years and that's been helping us put those lines in even uh, quicker and uh, we've quite quite a bit down in the uh, the Butte area they're making really really good progress again due to the work that's been done previous uh, and so that gives us some good areas to protect um, as we move into the Tehama County area we're utilizing those the best we can uh, as well and uh, again in areas especially the branch 15 area that uh, Mill Creek um, that's an area that, uh, that we've been uh, having a challenge with because, again, the fuels to part of here are very not um, very favorable um, with that. And um, as we move up into the Shasta area that isn't directly affected by the fire, uh, they have been putting in control lines and, and uh, those have been very successful. Uh, we were expecting to be completed yesterday. Uh, however, they believe uh, that they'll probably be done today with most of those uh, containment lines, uh, control lines. Uh, it's just been a lot of hard work. Uh, it's a lot of country to, to be working in, uh, but they are working diligently to protect that area. So if the fire were to make a run in towards Shasta County, that we have a really good area that we can make a stand and, and give us the best option of success in combating the fire. Overall, we have a lot of aircraft assigned to this fire, both our fixed wing and rotor wing aircraft. We have three helibases uh, for copters. We have a lot of copters assigned to the incident, and we have a fourth helibase that we're standing up. So what that does for us is it gives us multiple points in which we can attack the fire with our helicopters. And also, if the fire does increase activity and create smoke where the copters cannot uh, work or the aircraft can't work, 
that we can fly from another base that usually has more clear air to be able to uh, support our troops on the ground in suppressing the fire. Thank you.